Would you believe it? Women are even crashing into the ancient profession of town crier. Here in a small Surrey town, we find the first of her sex to take on this job, which requires a strong arm, a long tongue, and a loud voice. Maybe women are finding their real work at last. This stone marks the site of the smallest common in the world. In fact, it covers the whole area of Stratford Common, London. It is only one foot square. Once it was the site of the gallows. Today it is surrounded by a library and technical institute, and only this stone shows that the common ever existed. Here is a bridge at the pretty little village of Sturminston Newton in Dorset. Treat it with respect, for as this warning notice tells the world, anyone damaging it is liable to transportation for life. This caution is a relic of the days when transportation was a regular punishment for many minor offences. Well, well, who would expect to see a lifeboat wrecked, or at any rate stranded, in a road 40 miles from the sea? Here is the purchaser, who bought it at Torquay, had it delivered to his home at Oxted in Surrey, and has been wondering ever since what on earth to do with it. Business is speeding up, and is carried on at a mile a minute in this train on the northeast coast of England. A businessman can dictate his letters by talking into a machine while travelling at 60 miles an hour. His voice is recorded on cylinders, which are then collected by an efficient typist. She sets them on another machine and puts on headphones. Then she transcribes the letters which she hands to the traveller to be signed, and they are posted at the next station. Would you believe it? <laughs>